screwdriver that's going to go in it. Mounting brackets. More mounting brackets. Screws. Um, USB cable. Power cable. And looks like fire wire. Okay. You getting this? Six, seven, and screw it. Eight. Plug in the AC. So here we go. We've got that, and I recommend you do this if you're going to be sensitive electronics, since I am more. Or less Right-handed, I'll put this on the left to free it up. Okay. By the instructions, this should work. Oh, yep. Huh. As far as that is. Plastic. Let's go back to this. Yep, yep. It says use your fingers to push the base of the tray out. Ugh. Okay, they weren't exactly explicit on that. Well, isn't that special? I hope this got a light to let you know if it's active or not. <laughs> That's the, you know, I guess you'd hear the hard drive spin up. Man. See right there? Next, number two, pull the tree out, and... Okay. <laughs> it's a, a Hitachi Dark Star. Um, do, 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 should be 500 gig. Mm -hmm. Yeah, 7200 RPMs. Say to three, get good. Hmm. Doesn't say what the cache is on it. And I don't remember. Well, that right there, my friends. This is your power, and that's your SATA. If I'm doing this correctly, it should be a simple line up and drop in. Right here, that's where it goes. Ah ha ha, I think I got it. It's in. Okay. Slots in. Number four. Align the black power slash SATA connector on the hard drive to the black female SATA connector on the base. Push the pin in. Okay. Number five. This is where you need the screws at, because some screws go in here. I see. 
right here, 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 and here. And now for the hard part. Hard part simply because you gotta hold on to this. And let's see, line this up there. There's one. Yay! There's two. Yep, I'm still seated up in there. It's there. That dude isn't going anywhere. Shouldn't go anywhere, that's for sure. Okay, I just plugged it in, and here we go, see, let's find out, can you hear that? Yep, I'd say it works. And there we go. <laughs> okay.